Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss the 10 must-haves for men during fall season. In my opinion, fall is one of the best seasons for classic menswear because you can add additional layers, such as wearing a vest, a sweater, or maybe an overcoat, as well as accessories in rich, subdued, earthy colors which are just a joy to look at. It's also the start of the season where you can wear winter accessories such as gloves, maybe online gloves, or you could go with lightweight scarves, maybe sweaters, vests, and all those things that usually don't make too much sense during the summer season. In the past, we already discussed 10 tips to create better fall outfits, and this video is an extension of that. So if you haven't watched it, please check it out here now. So what are the 11 must-have items for elegant, classic gentlemen? Well, the first one is to wear an unlined glove. I know most people have lined gloves, and while that's fine, the advantage of an unlined glove is that it's very thin and it looks very elegant. Also, during the transitioning season, you don't need a cashmere lining or an alpaca lining because it would simply be too worn. At the same time, going without gloves is a little bit too cold, so going with unlined gloves combines the best of both worlds while giving you the chance to add some color to your outfit in an unusual way. Because I had a hard time finding unlined gloves, I simply designed them myself. I went with a very lean, slim cut that is very elegant. I added a button at the wrist to ensure a tight fit. And sometimes I also like to wear driving gloves with everyday outfits because they're a little airier. So I get a little cooler hand and it's perfect if it's not a too cold fall day, but more one of the warmer fall days. Of course, we also offer unlined peccary gloves and you can find our full selection of unlined gloves perfect for the fall season in our shop here. If you go with unlined gloves, make sure to add a dash of color that is fall appropriate because black gloves simply don't suit the rich brown, green, orange, and whatever fall tones you incorporate into your wardrobe. The second must have item for fall are knit ties. I like them because they have this really nice texture and today you can find lots of knit ties on the market. Traditionally, the ones with the thickest texture were the Cri de la Soie silk ties and they had a crunch in them and you can hear the crunch when you move it back and forth slightly. Traditionally, they were knitted flat then put on a wooden form and sewn together by hand. That's exactly how we do our knit ties today. Most other knit ties you can find on the market are knitted like a sock in a round and they're a lot more flimsy and they don't have the texture and the weft of the old school, old world quality knit ties. In terms of color, I suggest to leave behind the pastel colors and rather opt for something like bottle green, maybe a purple or a bronze rust orange. Of course, you can also go with a tobacco brown, maybe a two-tone shade in cognac and dark charcoal, or a yellow. Because they add more texture, you can combine them with casual outfits, maybe such as a cardigan or a sweater, but you can also wear them with tweed coats, which are very elegant and stylish, and very seasonally appropriate. Third fall must-have is a pair of suede boots. Now, boots are in general ideal for fall because they're lined with leather most of the time, and they're not super warm at the same time, they keep you warmer than a regular pair of Oxfords or Derby shoes. I suggest you get them with a thicker leather sole, maybe a double leather sole, and you can go with lace-ups. I personally think lace-ups are great with a suede shoe, such as a chaka boot, which I'm wearing here right now. Of course, you can also get different options, such as a desert boot in a sand color. I think the most versatile one that you can incorporate in the wardrobe is a mid-brown, maybe a chestnut brown, and the suede just gives it a softer character. If you can only afford one pair of boots, I'd suggest you go with something burgundy because you can combine it with a suit as well as with all kind of casual garments. Also, if you wanna spice up the look of your boots, you can simply go with contrasting colored boot laces because that way it looks like an entirely new boot and you just invest a few dollars rather than having to buy an entirely new pair of boots. If you're not into lace-up boots, maybe consider a Chelsea boot, which is a classic with an insert, and to spice things up, you can maybe add a colored insert. Fourth item every gentleman should add to his full wardrobe is a vest or waistcoat. The term is used interchangeably, and it just adds another layer to your outfit. Usually it's an odd vest, meaning it's a contrasting color, and 
It just helps you to create entirely different looks with your existing wardrobe while keeping the budget very low. To learn more about art vests, how you can combine them and what to look for, what to pay attention to and what mistakes to avoid, please check out our in-depth art vest guide here. The fifth must-have item for gentlemen during the fall is a tweed jacket or sport coat. If you follow the Gentleman's Gazette regularly, you know that I love tweed and you can learn more about this wonderful fabric in our in-depth tweed guide here. The beauty about tweed is that it's comprised of lots of different colors and because of that it may look like a solid from afar but in fact there are lots of different individual colors combined. Because of that it's really easy for you to wear it with other colored garments and it always looks like it works really well together. For example here I'm wearing what looks to be like a darker to medium brown tweed coat but it has the same color as the pants and it has just a beautiful warm depth of color therefore the overall outfit looks very harmonious elegant and seasonally appropriate for fall. Personally, I have over 12 tweed jackets. If you're just starting out, I suggest to get what is called a Donegal tweed, which means there are little knobs all over the place in a contrasting color, or maybe with a simple oatmeal colored herringbone tweed because it's a very popular pattern. It's very classic and you combine it with lots of things. The sixth item no man should be without during the fall season is the quilted jacket. It's so great because it keeps you warm, at the same time it's lightweight and if you choose a length that covers your jacket, you can easily wear it on top without looking too formal. At the same time, you can wear it with casual outfits and you can just put it on when you go to the gas station or pick up some groceries. It's also lighter in an overcoat and easier to travel with. If you like something that's a little more formal, I suggest you get a trench coat with a removable interlining because that way you can wear it during the warmer days of fall in the beginning as well as during the colder ones later on. The seventh item you should invest in is a flat cap. It's a wonderful hat. It keeps you warm. It's stylish. It can be worn by younger men, even little teenagers as well as older men and it just has the typical seasonal appropriate character. It's also less formal than let's say a fedora hat and therefore it's a very easy entry hat. They're also not very expensive. They're usually made out of tweed so they're easy to combine with other colors and it's just a wonderful addition to any fall wardrobe. To learn more about flat caps and the intricacies, please check out our in-depth guide here. The eighth thing you should really think about during fall are wool accessories. I know most of the time ties are made out of silk and that's just fine. At the same time, adding maybe a pocket square in wool or a tie or a flat cap simply helps you to create a softer looking outfit that is very appropriate for fall or autumn. Unlike silk, which is crispy and shiny, wool is softer and much more matte, which makes it very suitable for fall outfits. If there would be just one wool item I think every man should have, it's a woolen pocket square simply because it helps to balance the texture even if you have an entire closet full of silk ties. At the same time, it's less expensive than ties and so it's a great start if you don't have any wool accessories yet. For a selection of wool pocket squares in wool shawly or wool silk blends, please check out our shop here. The ninth must-have item are corduroy pants. I know some people may think they make you look like an old professor from college or a school teacher. However, I think corduroy is wonderful for the fall season because first of all, it is very warm and just seasonally appropriate. Second, it is very nice in the color scheme and because of the way the fabric is created, it has a different look in different lighting conditions and that helps to create a soft overall outfit that is much better during fall winter than it is during spring summer. The great thing about corduroy is that it comes traditionally in lots of different colors, mostly earthy colors such as olive green, brown, tan and that's very easy to combine during the fall winter season. The tenth must-have item you want during fall is a pastel colored dress shirt. I know most men have white dress shirts but with a tweed coat it's just too stark of a contrast. Instead, if you go maybe with an eggshell color, something with a pale orange, maybe a pale pink or a pale blue, it really helps to tie the outfit together. It makes it softer. The contrast is still there. People wouldn't automatically notice that it's not a white shirt, but overall, it's much more harmonious looking. Last but not least, the 11 must-have item for fall are lightweight knitted sweaters, ideally in cotton. Usually, you don't need the heavy wool and cashmere sweaters until later in the season. And so you want a finer knit to just help you to keep you warm 
at the same time, you want to look stylish. Because the knit is thinner, you want them closer to your body, so it's a very flattering silhouette. If you want to wear a tie with it, it's a great opportunity. Just make sure you get a V-neck sweater, because with a crew neck, it almost covers the entire tie knot, and it's just a look that's not favorable. To learn more about the Oxford Cloth button-down shirt, please check out this guide here. In terms of colors, stay clear of black and navy sweaters, because they're simply too dark. Likewise, stay clear of very light and bright sweaters, because they're just too bright, and they don't work with the rest of your full wardrobe. Instead, go with maybe a burgundy sweater, which is very versatile, maybe a medium blue, something in brown, oatmeal, bottle green, maybe an orange. All these tones are really well for fall. Now that you know the 11 must-have items for classic gentlemen during fall season, make sure to check out our 10 tips for better fall outfits here. In today's video, I'm wearing a typical fall outfit. It first consists of a flat cap in tweed, it's herringbone with brown, and it works well with my jacket. The jacket is likewise made out of tweed. It's a vintage piece that I found for 10 bucks at Bobby from Boston. It was originally made by Orvis, and honestly, it really doesn't matter where it's made. Most tweed jackets today are made of British tweed, and it's just a very nice fabric that drapes very easily, and so most jackets will likely fit you. The typical silhouette you'll find is a single-breasted jacket with two buttons, notch lapel, and a center vent, which is just exactly what I'm wearing here right now. I'm combining it with an art vest in blue Harris tweed, which is likewise vintage. I pick up the blue color of the vest with the pastel blue of the shirt, Oxford Glove button-down shirt, and I contrast the whole ensemble with a green striped Shantung silk tie. Now, I only talked about knit ties, but there are other ties, such as wool chalet ties or Shantung ties, maybe mohair, wool grenadine ties, all of which we offer in our shop. These ties are all great because they add more texture than a typical printed silk or jacket woven tie. At the same time, a printed matter silk tie has those typical fall appropriate tones that just look great during this season. My pants are very light caramel colored corduroys that contrast the rest of my outfit, just like my shoes, which are suede boots in a medium chestnut brown. The socks are two-tone socks from Fort Belvedere, and they pick up the color of the pants and contrast the shoes. To learn more about how to combine shoes with socks, please check out this guide here. And for a great selection of socks that are easily combined, please go to our shop. My gloves are unlined gloves from Fort Belvedere in a blue suede. It's a lamb suede, it's very soft, very elegant, and it goes well with my vest. The same is true for my pocket square. It's also Fort Belvedere, and it picks up the purple and green tones from my tie and just ties it all together. Because I already had lots of textures in my outfit, such as suede gloves, a wool jacket, a wool waistcoat, I stayed away from a wool tie and a wool pocket square, otherwise it would have been too mad. Instead, I went with a textured silk shantung tie, which is also fall appropriate, and a matter silk pocket square. Probably the item in this outfit I get the most compliments for is the Edelweiss boutonniere. It looks just very natural, even though it's handmade in Germany. So the advantage is it never wilts. If you want to learn more about how these things are made, please check out this video here. It goes without saying that you can also find it in our shop.